You're listening to Sloss and Humphreys on the road without Sloss, who unfortunately has died in a tragic, awful accident, but will be coming alive again next time. This is Kerry Marks replacing him, and today I'll be talking to Kai about his absolute unremitting hatred of Philip Schofield, coming up soon. Sloss and Humphreys on the road. Muggins and cream, cream and muggins, straight thugging, living the dream. And that's our intro. Fucking muggles. Tickling the clit inside your head that makes you laugh. Welcome back to the podcast, Kerry. Hooray! Yeah, Sloss and Humphreys on the road, main of Sloss, plus Without Kerry. Sloss, but plus Kerry. Yeah, the Oogs will remember you. This is very official. All this equipment makes it feel very, like, uh, like I'm supposed to perform or something. Uh, I'm not going to. No, please. No. No, no nice, I'm not even going to do a nice voice. It's just gradual. I'm, uh, and I'm also really throaty. I've got, um, I've had laryngitis for like two months. Oh. It's not contagious. Oh, right. You don't catch the laryngitis <laughs> of someone. Can you know? It was totally unnecessary what you did there. It was, <laughs> it was ill-informed. <laughs> kind of embarrassing for you. Like if you ever try and pretend you're a doctor, yeah. and then you behave like that when someone says they've well, got laryngitis. Anyone that isn't watching, anyone that isn't watching and just listening, I leaned closer to him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that won't make sense to you, would it? You, you leaned away from me. I did. You didn't lean closer to me. Oh, you're lying. I was lying. Oh, I see. Try and make yeah. yourself look cool. Um, <laughs> okay, is this how it's going to be? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's going to be. It's going to get aggressive by the end. Um, so I've had laryngitis. I had a polyp taken out. <laughs> <laughs> For anyone listening, to this guy just tried to kiss me. <laughs> so, so what did you do with the polyp? Did you keep it in a jar? Oh yeah, you keep it in a jar for, as a souvenir, don't you? Yeah. And you sell it on eBay. Can you use it as a pee for your whistle? <laughs> <laughs> I met the um, the harshest doctor who, uh, you know, often doctors kind of try and prepare you for how bad something's going to be. Uh-huh. And so she said, um, oh, no. she, put, she put this um, camera up my nose and it goes round into your throat. And uh, and then she said, she was excited. She went, ooh. Because <laughs> <laughs> there was a white lump there. She had a um, eu- eureka moment. Right? She's like, going to she, tumour. She just hadn't <laughs> found a decent white lump for a while. And then she went, um, oh, well, it could be a polyp or it might be cancerous. <laughs> like almost as if it was like, it, it could be a bonus here. It's far um, too upbeat. And she said, so we're going to have to take it out. And um, and this is the way she said it to me. Uh, she said, um, now we, we might have to knock out a tooth or two. And we'll probably burn your throat. And you might find it hard to talk. And your voice might not be the same afterwards. Was that meant to be banter? Well, I think she was preparing me for what could go wrong. Right. But, it was but how, how done? You're not going to be knocking teeth out to get a polyp out of your tonsils. Well, it can happen. So I, I then went in for another check with a doctor who then said, um, I said, it, this woman told me that, or the other doctor told me that, uh, she <laughs> bash out one of my teeth. She, was, she actually said a tooth or two. Like, it was just like, <laughs> yeah, it might be a couple. Like, like the roof tiles, like they're fixing, <laughs> fixing your loft window. Yeah, yeah. your career's over anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, um, oh, well, it, it happens. So how often does it happen? And he said, well, you know, it's, it's more like we'll just chip a tooth or what something. What are they doing you know? it with? And you I haven't got drill. enough teeth to, to lose any. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they fucking they chisel and uh, they, they put a clamp on your mouth. So I think the clamp sometimes in holding your your mouth open. And also because a big camera thing. You awake and for tools this? And, no, they put you out. <laughs> Thank they God. Put you That's almost worse because you sort of go in, going. I'm just going to wake up and find out what I've got left. Yeah, they could, they could, yeah. they could be, they could be, rec- <laughs> they could be reckless if you're unconscious. Yeah, yeah, because yes. like if you're, if you're awake, you can play yes. foreman, can't you? Yeah, you can go. I know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you that. I do that thing before they put you out. You know, put the gas on you, and I, I pull a hair out, mm-hmm. wet it, and just put it over my flies while staring at them, so they know that I'm onto them. <laughs> Do you do, see again? <laughs> Pull a hair out. Always do. When the dentist give, put, knocks you out or anything, wet it and look at them in the eyes. You put it over your flies just to say, you know, like, uh, I've got if, a little sign that if, will show me if, if the hair fear with me. If the hair's broken. Yeah, and, I and hope, then you come I'm, round. And it better be. You come round. <laughs> yeah, it better be. I'm not getting much action anymore. You, you come round and it's a ginger hair and your dentist's <laughs> ginger. <laughs> You could have just took it out of your head. <laughs> you, could have took, you were right there. He's like, oh, God. I'm a- they go, oh, it's my own hair. That's how you discover you're going ginger. Yeah. <laughs> Must be one of my beard. So anyway, um, nice to be here. And I do have, so I'm a bit coffee and throaty, but I, I am anyway. Yeah. It's my thing. That's what everyone says. years building that reputation. That's what everyone says about your career. It's yeah, like you're self-aware. Coffee and throaty, they say. Mm-hmm. And they're what- Like the best of them. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're telling me that you've been doing nothing with your life that... I've done nothing with my life I, I, I was saying it might be nice, <laughs> Is that to, nice though? Uh, to talk about that for a while because uh, there's nothing to talk about yeah. whatsoever um, I, I have you know I've done things 
just not many. Not many things. And I'm not, uh, <laughs> there's not... There's no projects. I'm not working on my big new thing to talk about right now. There's nothing... I've got nothing to sell. Like nothing to pr- pr- plug at the end. Nothing to prove. I don't need to prove myself anymore. Yeah, for the sport. I'm, totally. <laughs> yes. I'm here to watch you chat to me. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Kerry did threaten at the beginning of the podcast before we started that he was just going to copy everything that I said. I am just going to copy everything that you said. Yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Kerry. You mean a dafty? <laughs> I, um, when I, I remember when I first came up here and I realised that you, um, you're not the only one who talks like that. Oh yeah, it's mad, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's really like, weird when you uh, you get to know someone and you don't really like, know their. It's like going back to Underhill with Bilbo Baggins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. oh, there's loads of little people. <laughs> 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 oh shit! <laughs> I thought you were unique. The whole tribe here, because yeah. um, when um, when we're actually in New Biggin now, it's <laughs> what, quite nice. Where isn't were we it? before? The old Biggin. Were we? <laughs> no. I don't remember that. Um, so we've just done a gig in Blythe. We're in New Biggin, which is a quite a sweet little town. It's isn't nice, it? isn't it? It's got it's Sandy nice. Bay. It's got Sandy Bay. It's got we're in a, we're in a little house that's got uh, in the kitchen. It's got pictures of a beach in case uh, you don't want to take got, a yeah. minute's walk. Can't be honest. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. really lazy people or people with amnesia who go, oh, I forgot what the beach looked like. I've just come home. Yeah, it's gone from my head. And uh, we were enjoying the little arts installation out at sea at Sandy Bay, New Biggin. Yes. So there's uh, this like structure with two. Um, People like a couple stood out on top of it. Yes, and uh, looking out at sea. And it looked like just one person at first. This oh yeah. So I just uh, I don't want to ruin the excitement for anyone who comes along. This is spoiler alert. Tourism spoiler. If you uh, if you walk along the beach at first, it looks like there is a person on a stand out at sea, and then as you walk further, you realise it's actually two. I wonder if they did it deliberately that way. They're not holding hands, are they? They're just like awkwardly stood next to each other like that. You, th- you saw them as awkward. I don't know, like if, like if, if you're just I saw them more as a couple who've been together for a while and just don't need to that communicate anymore. Don't need to hold hands anymore. Yeah. Nah. But you saw um, them as strangers. Well, I, or, I, I, or people who had an th- argument. This is this is the thing with an arts installation. It's meant to be like when the tide's in, like they're close up to the water and it looks like they're stood on the water. Right. I think that's what it's meant to be. Oh, but okay. the tide was out, so it just looked like they were stood on this massive like kind of scaffolding on the rocks. I thought they were so like it just looked like they were really stuck. To me, though, I, I, what I saw was former Nazis uh, looking out at sea to see whether a spaceship no. was going to come up. Nazis, you know, just, Nazis I read all space. that. I read all that just from those they two did. people. Well, you know what? Art is whatever you interpret from. Yeah, it, no, totally. It? Like, the artist has to just relinquish what he meant by it when he puts it out and just let you have your oh, own Oh, I think he's unique. got some explaining to do now that I've uh, come up with that. Hey. Uh, yeah. I reckon you could get in touch with him. Yeah, I will or do. her. I'm going to. <laughs> Probably I'm going him. to. I'm going to demand <laughs> to know why he's made this model of two Nazis. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Now in normal clothes to disguise themselves. Aye, uh, undercover. Yeah. Out at sea, <laughs> but like barely out at sea. Um, there's not much else along there, is there? There's another couple of models on the, um, uh, sort of on the bay part, uh, and also two people. Yeah, there was people there as well. Standing awkwardly. Um, Which way in statue? I don't want to ruin New Biggin for you because it's it was it was a pleasant walk, wasn't it? You know what? It's always had a bad reputation because uh, <clears throat> I've spent some time living right. in Ashington. And uh, when there's like trouble on the like on the fucking station road or whatever, like on right. a night, on a night out at Ashton, um, it's usually because people from New Biggin have been starting shit. So I think it's got its numpties here. There, but uh, but like you wouldn't know it, you know, with just our experience of uh, New Biggin. Been perfectly nice, except we did go into a pub and ask for a coffee. It was like the record scratched, was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was totally like one of those moments from a film where a few old locals turn and stare at you uh-huh. as if you just did the thing. Uh-huh. No one's ever asked for a coffee in here before. Uh, and you didn't sound like they were either. And then I asked whether, was it, was it you that asked whether, uh, do you know someone else that does have a coffee? And it was... Yeah, because it was after five it, o'clock. It felt like is, a bomb had just gone off. Uh, it was like you just stepped on something awful. This is the issue. Like, um, I, I guess it's not the same in like cities or in London and stuff. He got arrested, but but, but most people. <laughs> decide... <laughs> I've just got out of prison. <laughs> prison. <laughs> I got charged for it as well. Locked up, jail. Is that the difference? It was between... most serious crime in there as well. Is that the difference between jail and prison? There's jail where they just put you while they're working out what to do with you, and prisons where you go once they've charged you. Is yes, that the difference? That's exactly the difference. I just got out of jail. Either that or they're two words that mean the same thing. I think so. What was the two words that meant the same thing, but we found a differentiation between them the other day? It was en- endeavour and persevere. Yes. But we found the difference 
without looking either of them up. <laughs> oh yeah, we're spe- so we don't necessarily know whether we did find the correct yeah, difference. We're, we spe- we're speculating that but the we difference. feel endeavor has an end result to a purpose. Yeah, like you can endeavor to get to the North Pole. Yeah, yes, it's definitely an endeavor. But you can't, you can't uh, endeavor to beat cancer. Can you? Yeah, you could. Yeah, oh, that, that, that is an end goal. That'd be your it? endeavor. You still, yeah, yeah, totally. So you. I mean, I don't think you should take that away from anyone who's trying to cure cancer right now. Well, that would no, be... That's pe- not an endeavour. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you think you're doing an endeavour, you're just yeah. wasting your time, my yeah, friend. Yeah, you're, you're pissed if you're in love. Let it go. <laughs> these aren't good... These are really comfortable chairs, but they're not good for podcasting, are they? Because they slide. Well, you want to sit, but... There's we could, nowhere... We could bring everything a bit closer. Yeah, I but don't know. That doesn't, that doesn't make... I just pro- keep sliding like this. Yeah. Yeah. I just I thought that'd be interesting for people. Are you? Are you? Because I've got nothing to say in this podcast you, whatsoever. I'm just saying like, <laughs> these chairs are a bit slippery. Are you at the edge now? Where you need cushions to prop you up? <laughs> Put some cushions around you. Maybe on that. Age. You got a sponge and bath you <laughs> now as well. Just hope for the best. <laughs> yeah. So we did uh, we did gigs in uh, in Blythe last night, and we've got Ashington tonight. Yep. And uh, Ash- Ashington's always a lot of fun. It's a good gig. Yeah, that's the better one, isn't it? Sorry, Blythe people. Do you think so? From what I remember last time, you know, yeah. you know what I think it's. I uh, think Ashington was particularly good fun. It fizzes a bit more, right? Bl- Blythe's like the flagship gig where it all started, and it's got like the the longest return and like uh, audience members that have seen right. so much comedy. So they're so fucking comedy savvy, right? That like they the they get everything and uh, Ash Ashington still comedy savvy, but I smarter. Fe- I feel like it, it's it, it prettier. Could, I feel like I could go off at any minute, but it doesn't. Right. It never goes off, but it always like feels like it's got a bit more of that like uh, kind of drunky club, yeah, like uh, thing going on. But it means you can harness that energy and get more out of it. It's funny how rooms develop a character. Yeah, isn't you know, it? I mean, I mean, there's comedy clubs with the, 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 the. There are some cities that I have in the past judged by their comedy club. You know, you go to that particular comedy club in in say Liverpool, whatever. It's crap. Uh, you think, oh, this city's just not very funny. The people think, aren't pretty nice. I think Liverpool's they, a bad open, example for that. No, because... but then they open a different club. Oh, right? yeah, I see what you're saying. Say. Okay, a different you, got club you. somewhere further down the road, it gets a completely different audience in, and you go, oh, these people are great. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, it's yeah. hard as a comic not to judge a town. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So you can judge a town based on its comedy club, but then you can see another side of it and go, oh, right, okay, this, yeah. this city's a bit more vibrant than I give it credit for. Obviously, or a lot less pretentious. Club is the main way they have to convince me that they're a good town. Yeah. It's the opportunity they get to show to. Uh, so, 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 some so of, really, they're performing for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feed you some cities, and you, some of them are based on their comedy clubs. Oh, but I think it's difficult because, as I say, a different comedy club, and also when a comedy club moves, it gets a different audience. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I found um, Bath is a bit of a juxtaposition from like what the city feels like it is, and then what the gig is. How do you mean? I felt like. Um, I felt like it was a bit more of like an it's like an Edinburgh ish city, isn't yes. it? Yes. Where like it feels cobblestones, like, um, alleyways, and uh, sort of back street places and so on. Really yeah, nice. Yeah, and it's like it's yeah, quite, quite quaint and quaint, and you feel like everybody's quite like well educated and stuff. But actually, like yeah, you yeah. can you can do like really clubby, dirty material there and stuff, yes. and it seems to like betray. It's like you get yeah, like I sorry, I I feel like it was going to be snobby and it wasn't. Yes. Yeah. Uh, generally. Uh huh. Generally, what's your favourite areas to perform in? Um, well, I think not necessarily cities, parts of the country. Well, it, it's it, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bring Newcastle and Blythe and Ashton into it because Why not? That, that's a home game for me, and I've right. just got so much more of a wealth of material that wouldn't make sense anywhere outside of the fucking five mile radius. You know, I can I can go up that it, well, it's postcode, and isn't it? Yeah, I can postcode my hometown. Yeah, it's useful so, to have that. So I can somewhere. so I can always like. They like do that can be myself a lot more when I'm at home, but as far as I would say, it's it's hard to look past Liverpool now that what the lads at Hot Water have done. Liverpool's really come up, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's Very impressive. So good, and um, I I live in Glasgow now. I fucking really love gigging in Glasgow. Right. Yeah, it's like I, I feel very lucky that I'm in such a comedy savvy city. Glasgow's great audiences. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're amongst my favourite. London, not so much. I love the store, but that's mostly like. People from outside London, right? Like it's a tourist. Oh, there's a few though. It's a the store when it's sto- on fire is a great. No, that's room. what I mean. The Headliners sto- can be a great the, the room. The store's amazing. The Bearcat but it, can be a great room. Even sometimes banana can be a lovely room. Yeah. Right? So there, there are some the really good ones. good ones. But I just found that like um, they're not you, as grateful, are they? Well, I feel like they can be a bit sensitive. 
Really? A little bit, yeah. I feel like they can be a bit sensitive in what London. What would be the not, thing not, you could touch on that would upset Well, them? let's let's give an example. I opened for Danny at um oh where's it Clapham. Right. And a uh, great gig in that. But I started uh, I started talking about my my friend who has Down syndrome who I grew up with, right? And he's one of my best friends. Like none of the shit I'm saying about him is right. offensive. Like it's it's not like I'm not hanging shit on him. He's not the butt of any of the jokes in the routine. But just the fact that I said Down syndrome, I and felt the like subject were, silenced them. It was a little bit like, oh oh, yeah, oh no, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I oh, just in my head, I wasn't saying. I was like, I oh, just relax, man. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I have felt a little. I bit think. Of that. Look, I think a great audience anywhere is a great audience, and you can go anywhere. Yeah. You can have. Uh, um, last weekend I was at the Frog and Bucket in Manchester and it was just happened to be really nice audiences every night, you know. Yeah. So that can happen almost anywhere. But my favourite places are gen- generally north, east and south, west. I like Scottish audiences. Yeah. They're great. But north, east and south, west seems to be far less pretentious and up for anything. It's almost like they mirror each other. Yeah. Whereas when you go south, west, sorry, south, south, east, and Northwest, you have this mirroring of we're all funny, mate, kind of attitude. Yeah. yeah we're all jokers. Uh-huh. And uh, and also... So um, what would you class as Southwest? Would you class that as like Norwich? Uh, Ipswich? Well, sort of down from there, I guess. Yeah. Oh, sorry, no, that's, that's south, southeast. Oh, yes, yeah, so it is. Yeah. So Essex, oh, yeah, so you're... Essex, Essex Way. Essex Way, you got the much more sort of like, yeah, we're all funny, we're all hilarious, blah, 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 yeah. uh, attitude, which I think you used to get a lot more in Liverpool, Manchester, and so on as well. Yeah. Whereas, whereas the uh, the northeast is much more. Yeah, we're just up, out for a laugh. Yeah, and um, yeah. I just I just don't dawned on me. You you have been doing things. You've uh, you've just been to Berlin. I did. In... Oh, ruin it for me. Huh? Ruin, ruin this attitude Ru- in front of it out. That's mis- this nonchalance. Uh, yeah, but, man's um, gra- man's grafting here. I did go to Berlin. Um, uh, I'm doing things. I'm you... doing I'm doing a course uh, in motion graphics. That's reasonably interesting. Oh yeah, well, let's get back to that in a second, right? But let's talk about Berlin. I've got nothing to say about it though. No, no, I'm gonna it's just the thing I'm doing. And then that's what you, I've also you leave us about more interesting. I've started an OnlyFans. <laughs> um, why are you laughing? Why do you laugh at that? Because yeah, uh, you've been using your CGI. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you trying to say? You've been using your motion graphics. To... What, are you, what are you trying to say that I'm not good enough on my own? No, no. Are you? You don't think people will pay an OnlyFans site to see me stripping naked? Out of like morbid, curi- morbid curiosity, <laughs> like the same way that I would. What are you? Oh, this is the, so the, the, the same way. You? The same way that I sometimes would slow down if there's a car crash on the opposite <laughs> side of the road. <laughs> Look, I haven't got any pride left. I'll take whatever money comes in, and I don't care why they're paying. What does that matter? If they're enjoying themselves, that's all that counts, really. Mm-hmm. And they what, are. What do you do extra then on OnlyFans if you sign up? <laughs> I, I, I haven't got that far yet. Okay. <laughs> no one's signed up. Kerry, can I, can I ask you something? <laughs> Go on. Did, did you hear me watching porn last night? No. Were you? <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. I went to bed. We went to bed quite late and quite drunk, right? And it I wasn't went... my OnlyFans, was it? Because <laughs> <laughs> this is a really awkward time to tell me. <laughs> Imagine you are just like, is that, is that me? <laughs> Can I hear me moaning in the other room? Um, so we're in an Airbnb. I went to bed last night and I went on, I went on Reddit yeah. and I followed, like, um, I followed a few like porn accounts on Reddit. So right. on my homepage... It'll just sometimes just feed us a bit of porn. Yeah. And one of the things that I fed us was this really hot girl. And I was like, oh, I'd like to see more of her. Reddit doesn't have any sound on it. Porn often works like that. Aye. Yeah. Yeah, because like, when I'm looking at porn, right, I, I'll like go... You think, that's good. I'll see more of it. My, my kink is really good looking girls. That's not really a kink, is it? Uh, <laughs> that's the most boring fucking kink I've ever heard of. There's a kink. I just like attractive people. I like, like, oh wow, you're smoking. a really adventurous guy. Well, you know what? Like, what, yeah. I, what I was saying is, like, I, I don't like go for like. It doesn't have to be necessarily dirty. There doesn't have to be any fucking wild shit going on. Just on, to, on a slight tangent, I was wondering. You know how people are into like uh, really like extreme S and M, and they might dress up as Nazis, uh, right? I was wondering what Nazis did when they wanted to do extreme S and M because they had nowhere to go. Oh shit! Yeah, just dress up as the devil. Yeah, they go. We're all the devil himself. The thing, so. <laughs> totally. <laughs> anyway, sorry, go on. And then so they, you, you were looking at a pretty girl, and then you thought, "I want more of this pretty girl." Uh, and Reddit doesn't have any sound on it, right? And right. I, um, so I hadn't even con- considered the volume. So you were making all the sound yourself. <laughs> Compensating. Yeah, it's like. Li- we doing a pretty girl's voice. I do. I, when I'm on my own at night, I do lip sync battles of pornography. <laughs> <laughs> so I um, I found a video 
right. while the video was learning, loading, uh, unlocked the screen rotation and turned it on its side. And when the porn came on, it was instantly really loud. And I think it was like on one of the ads. Right? Yeah. And I, I went to turn it down. And because my phone was on its side, I got the up and down the wrong way. And I turned the porn up to pretty much full volume while tra- panicking. And it was on for about, because I was pretty drunk. I reckon a good five seconds of like oh, right. full volume porn coming out of my room. And uh, I didn't even continue to watch the video. I closed my phone and shouted, sorry. <laughs> just threw my I phone I never down. heard that, no. <laughs> See, I didn't pass your room at one point and your door was open. You could have closed your door if you were doing that. <laughs> no, I didn't. That's a reasonable thing to do, isn't it? I didn't think I had my door open. Your door was open at night. I, this is well. the loo twice, so you definitely, fucking... definitely had your door open. Wild so here's you pretending I uh, uh, you know, was embarrassed and I had to stop the, record, I stopped the, the, the uh, porn from playing, but meanwhile your door was open. Oh, well, I walked past... This beginner's mistake number one. I walked past your room and, and you were wearing your socks in bed and I saw your legs poking out the bottom of the bed and you had socks on. <laughs> that's that's, that's not went near as good a story, is it? <laughs> if I was just leaving the door open, I think that was on par. This is like, it's going to lie. It's like, uh, really, really, really... Oh, yeah, you've got me there. Oh, no. My you know, reputation. You know what, um... There would be no reason for me to walk past your door, which is the, just the layout of the building. Your door's like at the end of the hall and there's nothing past it. So for me to walk past your door, I just have to be peering in. And like, notice I got my socks on. At least, that was my- <laughs> at least you could have like had the excuse. And I'm going to say excuse because... Yeah. But that, you might not have been using the toilet, but you could have said you were going to the toilet when you pretended my really door. just going to see if your door was open. Aye. And you know what? For me to know that you had socks on, your door was also open. You had an open door and socks on in bed. I actually didn't have the door open. I don't sleep with socks on even when I'm drunk, so there's no way this is true. But even if it is true, why? <laughs> it's not, it's, this in no way even touches on my reputation. Yeah, but you start the accusation. You wanking with the door open is very different from someone <laughs> maybe who sleeps with his socks on once every now and then. <laughs> so anyway, what you heard, what you heard, what you might have heard from my room was five seconds of a girl moaning and then me saying sorry. I like the fact you're the type of person who then has to tell everyone, tell the world anyway. You know, oh, good, no one heard it, so I'll just tell everyone on a podcast. So I was <laughs> masturbating to it. Well, you know what? So I, really, I mean, the main thing about this is that it's just such a boring porn story. Well, I just like overshare because you know when you're like, you know when you trip in the street, yeah, right, and then you're like, oh, look at me, I fumbled, and then you look around to see who's like laughing at you or pretending not to notice or whatever, and yeah. you can maybe have spark a connection with somebody that saw you stumble, so you could be like, oh, what am I like, yeah, right? I'd prefer it if I got seen. <laughs> I, I don't want to look around and nobody saw it, and I'm the only person in the world that experienced my stumble, and then I just live with that lingering feeling, like that the bubble wasn't burst. So if I ever do anything that's embarrassing or embarrasses me, and there's no one there to say it, I share that shit. <laughs> Before anyone can say anything. I share that <laughs> shit immediately. I feel like what you're really doing is letting everyone know you've still got a libido. You're going, hey, look at me, I well, masturbate. Well, what you need to know about... You're really proud of what it. What you need to know about this story, Kerry, yeah. is that I wasn't wanking. I was just looking at porn. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching it like I'd watch football. <laughs> I was just having a look. That's beyond sad. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm look, I'm I'm 56 now, and I'm kind of in and out of libido. It's oh, a really yeah? strange place to be. Is is sometimes I have a full on libido as much as it, it ever was. Other times. It's just no, I just no interest. And what it is, it feels like, it feels like coming out of a delusion. That you realise how hormones have have uh, just told you all these lies all your life that, yeah. that, that aren't really interesting. Um, I did a piece years ago just about how there, there's a reason why you don't buy penis flavoured lollipops. Right? <laughs> you, don't, you don't get <laughs> vagina ice cream. Because no one really likes the taste. It's just so the other way, you know. Oh, I'll have it extra strong, please. Uh, you yeah. know, the, it it, the flavors have never caught on because no one actually likes the flavors. It's just a lie your brain tells you to get you to shove your face in someone's groin, Aye. you know, in the, in the dirtiest bits. It, rather than the, put those bits somewhere else in the body, nature just went, No, that's a lot of work, right? We can mm. have, uh, you know, the, 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 the pee area down here, we can have a separate erogenous zone up here. Out, out of the way but it went we don't need to, I don't need to do that and she just went I, I can just 
lie to the, everybody and tell them that that's, they want that pee taste. They want that area of uh, filth uh, in their mouths. The or fact, the fact that it hasn't caught on with capitalism. Yeah. The fact that, the fact, the fact that uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's uh, vagina-flavoured fucking candles didn't catch on. <laughs> Did she do that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, she made vag- it was meant to be the scent, <laughs> the scent of her own vagina. Was, oh, was it, it her own? Is it like a Yankee candle? Oh, how wonderful for her. <laughs> So she can smell a vagina wherever she goes. Yeah, she's just wanted yeah. in everybody's house. And she should give her, her candles as gifts to people. Uh, now, <laughs> now when I get up in the middle of the day because I heard a bump, I can get my candle. <laughs> I hate it. And I'm looking around like, like Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> it's still less weird than you um, watching porn and not masturbating, though. Uh, I, had, I was just having a look. <laughs> just checking, it's all, we're just checking it's all still happening. Yeah. It hasn't been cancelled in the well, meantime. It's like you, it's like out of the strippers, isn't it? Yeah. You go to the strippers, you're not having a wank. You're just having a look. Yeah, but you are saving one. I went to a strip. It's, it's like a, a, you're banking it for later. I went to a strip. I went to a strip club the other day, and it was uh, it was really tragic. I got so it was, <laughs> you know, at the end of the night when you're just not ready to call it a day, uh, and you've just been kicked out the pub that you are enjoying yes. chatting to your mate in or whatever. Yeah. Um, me and my mate went to the strip club because we're like, we'll get a comfy seat, we'll have a beer. Yeah. We might have a dance, we might not, but you just buy in, it's open, you'll go, right? And um, and we went we went in, and I, I went, it was fucking dead empty, no one there at all, so you're just like, oh, you're just going to get hustled the whole time you're in. You're going to be having a chat, and instead of them coming down and going, would you like a dance? And you're like, no, I'm just going to have a drink for now, I'm all right. Then they move on to somebody else. You're not going to get that. You're going to get them like, wanting, being all over you. like trying to get yeah. money, right? So, um. I tried to sit down and uh, and there was this like really brash scouse lass was just like, oh come on, it's it's nearly closed. You're gonna have to get a dance now if you want to dance. Come on, get come with me, have a dance, enjoy. Like none of it was like ceremonious. It was all just like kind of bullying, you know, right. like just pushy, pushy, pushy. And I was like, well, I'd... you need to be teased by strippers a bit, do you? Well, not even that. I just need a bit of I just don't like to be put off by them. Right, like it's not like I, I don't want to. Fo- I don't want like oh, give me this illusion that you care. Right, I don't need that. Like, I'm fucking right. I'm secure. But she wasn't really, was she? She was just being very honest with you. Your time's nearly up. You've uh, got one chance. Oh, but it was dead pushy. I was like, I'm gonna buy a drink first. Right. I hadn't even got it. I didn't even have a drink in my hand. I just got through the door, right? So uh, I went. I went up to the um, the bar and I went to order a bar. And Matt, Matty was talking to another girl and. Um, and they went, uh, I went to buy me drink and he was like, five for the drink and 50 quid for the dance. I was like, 50 quid for the, da- I didn't even ask for a dance. How many, how many? Like, uh, I'm, getting bull- I'm getting bullied into spending 50 quid on a dance. It's not happening, right? And this, uh, this girl that was like, like bullying onto me, well, what had happened is Matty had arranged to get a double dance off these two for us two. And that right. was 50 quid, right? And Matty had already like pulled 40 quid. He was like, Kai, just give us a tenner yeah. and come for the dance. I was like, even though I didn't want to dance. Oh, you wanted to share a dance with you. Ah, uh, yeah. Even though I didn't want to That's dance. A bit weird. The, even though I didn't want to, t- want to dance at the time, I was like, I'd have a look at the barman's cock for a tenner. <laughs> 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 so, uh, like, because I'd been so reluctant, right? I had, I had another tenner, and I sat down for a dance with uh, Matty and these two girls. Oh, the strip, and, the strip must have loved doing a dance with someone who just really can't be bothered <laughs> and going, oh, look, here's a tenner towards it. Mate, they spent, uh, oh, the spent. Oh, the enthusiasm she must have had to muster. The pair of them spent the whole time calling us an arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> they were going, you're a fucking prick, you. <laughs> I was just sat on my hands. I was like, I just wanted a beer. Some, <laughs> some men will pay more for that abuse. <laughs> I know. I was like, I, I was like, honestly, like, I wish this is what I was into. Fucking spit on us. <laughs> but honestly, they were kind of, she was just kind of as a prick and a cunt now. That way, just does. And you were going, I just you. like looking at a pretty girl. <laughs> <laughs> And then it closed to the left. And I was just like, why did we not just call it a night, mate? Like, we should have just many, went How home. many punters were in there? Just me and Matty. Just two? Aye. Uh, All right. So if, if, let's say, two people come into a comedy club and you're like going, look, we'll do the show for you. you we're about to close, but we'll do the show for you. And they're like, no, we didn't really come in for the comedy. Yeah, how was, would you feel? Oh, I, th- I think I'd, if they I just went, oh, no, it's all right, mate. We'll just have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be, I, I, as a comedian, I'm I'd trying, be like, I'm trying to turn this round on you and realizing that yeah. <laughs> we would just want them to leave, wouldn't we? Yeah, I'd just go <laughs> backstage. Go. Don't do you. I'd, I'd, Not enough. I'd have a couple of All right, let's say two audiences came in. That's more equivalent, isn't it? Two audiences. For a stripper, one person is an audience, whereas one person isn't an audience for us. And they just told us we that they, they just told us that they didn't want any comedy, they just want a drink. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I was trying to find the equivalent here. I just couldn't, couldn't get there. <laughs> it doesn't work. Uh, All right, let's do it differently. Let's imagine she, you were a stripper. She, call, <laughs> she called us a melt. <laughs> really? You melt. Was this while she was stripping? Yeah. Shut everything off. <laughs> you had a naked woman being abusive to you. I was just, I was honestly like, I was trying, I was trying to do it politely, but she was being so pushy that my politeness was just like coming across as like guarded. She asked for a tip after. <laughs> I was like, nah. If you pay me more, I'll call you a cunt. <laughs> Uh, but it was Marty that was hustled. Cost me a tenner. Yeah. <laughs> Child of yeah. Well, it sounds like you got a tenner's worth, at least. Mm. Yeah. So, <laughs> what a great night. Aye. Um, this feels like um, this is all sex. Aye, that's what happens when that's you come on, Kerry. Is this happens. Is this me? So I, t- I try to talk about Berlin. I'm sure you, I'm sure you opened those. Oh, yeah, we did I try to talk about Berlin and you grabbed the wheel, Kerry. Yeah, sorry. And you, didn't, you didn't steer it that way, but that's where we ended um, up. I went to Berlin. Yeah, because I wanted to um, bring I up... The, I went to see the strippers. <laughs> Have a wank. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to bring up what yeah. you told me, because I went to visit the Berlin Wall when I was in Berlin. Oh, yeah. And then when you said you'd been to Berlin, I was like, the Berlin Wall is a lot thinner. Yeah, you really thought it would be because it was like wafer thin, and there was metal through it, but it was right. pretty thin. But then you told me that that was just like one side of the wall, and you still you're actually asking me still now, aren't you? Like you don't believe me that it was uh, the wall was not just like a little slither of wall. Uh huh. I mean, it was massive. It was like it was uncrossable. It yeah. reached uncrossable mm-hmm. from, a, from a barbed wire where it started to uh, almost overnight. Just, just they just built it and built it until there were the two separate walls, the no man's land, and so on. And uh, uh, of course, checkpoint Charlie and uh, and, and the, the, the sudden uh, realization that people were actually being shot. And what what is checkpoint Charlie? It. Is that where people go through? So you have the uh, the west on one side, the east on the other side. And is that uh, where you go through, like legitimately with your yeah, papers? Yeah, two checkpoints. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, nowadays it's a really shit tourist attraction. Oh, I think I haven't been there for to that. I mean, a previous uh, time going to Berlin, I seem to remember they have someone in a um, like a, a soldier's outfit who looks more like fancy dress and uh, handing out, you know, just people taking selfies with them, and that's it, really. Um, so it's it's all gone and forgotten. But it was an extraordinary time the Berlin Wall coming down and uh, yeah. uh, the fact that it went up in the first place. Yeah, and um, because you like, I, I don't talk to us like I'm ignorant here, right? Because I, I talk to us like I know nothing because I don't, well, you, right? Right. Um, I'm what, not an expert on the Berlin Wall, by the way. If you think I'm some, like, you know, you brought me on as a historian, you're wrong. No, no. <laughs> I just went to Berlin and saw some wall, but I, I just figured out more about Ke- it than you did Ke- from looking at Kerry, a piece of wall and Ke- thinking that's all there is. Kerry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not looking at you as a historian. I'm talking to you as an old man who remembers it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it I don't really like this podcast? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I don't remember, look, there's a lot of historical stuff that I lived through, mm. and probably for you as well, that I didn't, it's, it's like I watched Chernobyl recently, and um, and I would have lived through that, but I, at the time I was just partying, I was young. Yeah. I was, I was out doing things, having fun, um, hanging out with friends, going to you know, all-nighters and so on, and I, I would have heard, oh, there's something going on with Chernobyl. Because you, <laughs> you tend to, like, when when, <coughs> when something's dominating the news as oh, well... It's you, the laryngitis cough. Anyway, go on. When, it's safe. <laughs> when, uh, when something tends to dominate the news, even if it's, like, a massive thing, you tend to get bored of it and just switch off from it, right? Like Yeah. Um, even, like, Bank Holder Monday, like, I felt like the whole fucking world was glued to the royal royal funeral, oh, the Queen's happening, funeral. Oh, that's hasn't it? Yeah. Um, but I just, me and Natalie just went out, went to the um, Shawlands in Glasgow and just had a Bank Holder pub crawl. Right. We just went for a nice breakfast and then... You weren't like, glued went to the set and you could see every moment of it. And I saw none of it. It right. passed us by. Like, I think... Like, I felt like the only person in the world that wasn't watching. Did you hear they released some figures that it was, like, 4.1 million uh, watched it? And then that figure was just absolute bollocks. And it yeah. was actually... Like, that would be... How many people is that? That's more than half the population of the planet. Is, are they trying to tell us that the fucking well, billion, people... billion, yeah. What, 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 was, what was the eventual actual numbers? Some million mil- or something, millions, right? It was millions, millions. not billions, which is a fucking massive gulf. Yeah, it was, it, it, um, I think it was less than the Euros final. 
But there was, it was a less, It was less than a sporting event. But they tried to pitch it that it was 4.1 billion or something. And uh, that would mean like those people in favelas and fucking shanty towns. Like was, yeah. a, lot, a lot of the population don't have access to that shit. Like it's, it's a sad state of affairs, but like there's a, there's a fucking whole lot of the world's people that wouldn't physically be able to watch it. Yes. You know, you see, that would be a huge number if they'd, they'd had some sort of those if, billions. But uh, I, I, I saw a bit of the Queen lying in state, which I watched. You know, this is where oh, everyone's yeah. finding past it. And I, wa- I turned onto it simply because there was um, a link to the clip to see why so many morons were watching um, Dead Woman in a Box TV uh, and ended up watching for a good hour or two. <laughs> yeah. It was actually quite uh, compulsive. Just, just seeing... Um, you. you which one's going to bow? Which one's going to curtsy? Is it, this one's a saluter, I'm sure. Yeah. And the, the one guy who uh, just just stood there for ages trying to work out what to do and then sort of did a headbutt. <laughs> he <laughs> headbutt the coffin. the coffin? He didn't headbutt the coffin. He did a headbutt towards <laughs> the coffin. It's made a leg. He, can't, he can't go up to the coffin. But Can you not? No. I mean, so there's, just, there's soldiers between you and the coffin. But So you're just queuing yeah. your leg, you have a little dicks? It's extraordinary. To me, it was... I, mean, I mentioned this on stage last night, that... that uh, the big brother t- for me took TV to a new low of, of you know people watching other people sleeping or just chatting. Oh uh, yeah, and I couldn't believe anyone was watching. It that. was on twenty four hours, wasn't it? And you could just like totally. Oh, the du- the duvet just moved. I know. And then Dead Woman in a Box seems to be the new thing that's uh, uh, ten thousand people at any one time watching it. Aye. Uh, so it's pretty popular. And the, the queue went on for five miles in the end, didn't it? We might be in the queue now for it, you know. Hey, my fucking Twitter went absolutely fucking bananas. Uh, you know when Philip Schofield jumped the queue, right? I've been I've been uh, slagging off Philip Schofield for well over a year on yeah. he, on here uh, on this podcast and on me on my latest Finn show. I, I've been digging him out because uh, he groomed a child, right? He he, he he cheated on his wife. I don't know much about this, but he cheated on his wife with an eighteen-year-old who he, he he met like it was his brother's theatre company. I thought it was a school right. trip, but I've I've discovered it was his brother's theatre company or something uh, that this kid was at. So he visited this theatre company and spoke to them and that when he was like, I think he first met when he was ten, but he's first photographed with him at the age of twelve. And then Philip Schofield adds him on Twitter when he's fifteen, and then he gets a job as an intern on a, as a runner on this morning and then Philip Schofield has an affair with this boy and just as the story's about to break he comes out as gay and controls the narrative okay. and the story's this like this high profile celebrity who stayed closeted all the way through his adult life has come out and really useful fucking for people that are struggling right. to come out it's a useful narrative it's like a positive narrative uh, but it's actually just a fucking smoke screen for everyone knew he was gay right right so um, I put a tweet on last night going uh, the the fact that Philip Schofield got away with uh, cheating on his wife with an 18-year-old he'd known for six years and then got done for queue jumping is peak Britain. And it, it's nearly it's nearly on, last time I checked, it was nearly on 8,000 retweets and nearly really? on, on 100,000 likes. And the comments are just fucking people discussing the ethics of it and that. And so many people have tagged in this morning and Philip Schofield and fucking, I'm just at the point where I'm just saying, fuck, You think you're going to end up on this morning explaining yourself? I, no. <laughs> that'd be great well, uh, um how are people reacting positively or negatively to anybody yeah every everybody's uh acting like like i've been saying this for fucking ages i can't believe this isn't mainstream i can't like i'm, I'm glad that this is catching on i'm glad right. that this is in the public mind now so a lot, a lot of how much are, of what you said do you know for a fact well, what do we know as fact? You know, I've seen the photograph with them. I've seen them. Uh, I've seen the communications on Twitter, and I've seen the the video over YouTube. I get crashing the the private dinner. Um, okay. And the the whether they had sex or not, I guess that's between those two. Yeah. But like, it's 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 just a poorly kept secret. But they've managed to like kind of flush it out. The fucking the like. What, what are they, they're not we don't it. know unless that lad comes sure. forward and says something he's probably been paid yeah. off I don't know you can only speculate up to a point but like but I, I smell a fucking rat with a guy right and um, I, I've just I've I've just fucking I'll reserve I tend to reserve opinions on anything unless I've seen decent evidence for something yeah I think it's fine to to, to tweet that and uh, it's, it's, you get a discussion going right so it's alright but yeah yeah you don't like Philip, Philip Schofield, is that what it is? I just think, uh, I just think he got away with it. I think he buried it. I think he right. buried it. Now, like, in that now, and then you see him on We Buy Any Car adverts and all that, and you're like, oh, so there you are. You've kept all your endorsements. You're, right, right. 
I just, yeah, yeah I just, I, I don't trust the guy at all. So you're onto him. I'm onto him. And you're going to ruin I, his career. I smell a rat. You're going to force but this I, issue until I, it becomes. Uh, I, I just find I just find it so fucking. He gets arrested. I, I just find it so fucking funny that it's the Q right. jump that turned the nation on him. Like everyone fucking hates him now. He's absolute public enemy for jumping okay. the Q. So it wasn't and the kid. Nah, it was, it was nah, the Q. it was the Q jump. And, uh, but we don't really know that he jumped a Q. I mean, I mean it, fu- there's a statement saying that he was uh, he was doing his job, right? Oh yeah, aye, that's but you don't it. buy it. He's burying it again. Whatever. This is another thing. About I don't that. know. I'm t- I, don't, I don't tend to. I, t- I don't. Right. I don't give a fuck about him jumping the queue. Right. I think he, he. I think he's entitled to jump the queue as the figure that he is. Right. right. T- take away everything that I've just said about him. Right. As the presenter of Good Morning. But there's no video he, of him passing the Queen in state. Right. Is there? So I don't know. I'd like I said, I haven't watched that. But this is where this is where I'm getting at. This is my point. Is that I if think you just don't like Philip Schofield, whatever you're saying right now, no, no. I think you've just taken a dislike I'm, to this man I'm get, and you've decided to destroy his career I'm, I'm, as much as possible. I'm saying you don't need evidence. You don't care about the facts. It's, it's just his look, probably. I'm siding with him here. I'm <laughs> siding with him, Kerry. Yeah. I, I am, only so you can show how much more against him you are. I otherwise. am. I am showing balance. Yeah. Uh, this is my balance, right? If you're queuing up to look at the old lady in the box, you've subscribed to privilege. You you agree that... No, pri- he's a, he, no, sorry, I'm no, going to no, no, no. advocate here. He's a, he's a reporter no, no, working no. for a TV station. He's got report to do. They why, say, why we are, are sending you, you here, and because I, I have to defend... The you're not defending... Yeah, I'm on this I side with you. Was right. You're arguing with the same argument. You are, let us finish, right? No, uh, right. no. The, <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna fall out over this. I don't even. I don't even watch this morning. You're whatever saying it is. the same thing. I don't even. I hardly even know who he is. Yeah, interrupting me. I think he's a nice guy, and you're just trying to ruin it, someone's reputation for your own thrill, and so you can get a few hits on fucking social media. What you did do is interrupt me to tell me the thing that I was busy saying, as if it was. The and, conf- I'll, and I'll do it again. As if it I'll was do devil's it advocate. Don't think that's the first time. If if you're not Philip Schofield, if you me, I don't think Devil's Advocate if, is what you think it is. <laughs> if, if I don't think you'd know a Devil's so Advocate if he's slapped you in the face. I want, I want Daniel back. <laughs> I think you love Philip Schofield. And I think this is a front. I think what this is about is you have feelings for Philip Schofield and you're just trying to make sure this kid gets out of the way. Kerry, I was at that Fiat Company too and he just ignored me. <laughs> I was hitting on I was hitting on him all all through the broom cover days when he was recording the gopher. I was writing to him. I didn't have Twitter back then, but I sent him letters and he just didn't reply and then he fucking another kid. It hurts, it? it hurts. Let it out. Let it I just out. Let it out of this pain. I just wanted to suck him off when I was twelve. Finally the truth. <laughs> if the public are queuing to see a, oh ro- a royal It's never gonna fucking go. Fucking carry, stop. Okay, go on. I want to make this. I'm going to make right, the I'm public gonna, are queuing to see the royal. I've muted your mic. <laughs> I'm going to talk down the barrel of the lens. <laughs> if the public are queuing to see a royal in a box, they've, uh, they've subscribed to the idea of privilege. It's not like calling it a royal in a so, box. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go. You can speak now, mate. Okay. Go on. So the, the public are queuing to see a royal in a box. So if somebody, like if David Beckham, had skipped the queue. He didn't. He got in the queue. But if he had skipped the queue and went to the front of the queue to see the royal in the box... I think he's got something to hide, personally. He, he is allowed to do that because he's privileged. And we've agreed to privilege. We've given people privilege. We've accepted that we're fucking... No, no, wait a minute. No, 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 bollocks, no, bollocks. He couldn't jump the queue because he didn't have a press pass. He wasn't invited to go to the front. But he's David so fucking Beckham. Go no, he, still, he didn't, he didn't have the right to do that. No, he's privileged. And you've already of subscribed he's pri- privilege? Of course he's privileged, but he doesn't have the privilege to go to the front of the queue. Fuck, I Because you had to have an official invite. Yeah. They've been pl- planning this for, for months. You know, everyone's, uh, no one has planned for someone to die as much as this. Uh, right? Every, every detail has been down. Who's going to be invited, who's not? So David Beckham, if he wanted to file past the, the Queen in state, which is a really weird expression, the state we're talking about is dead. <laughs> yes, that was... the Queen in a state oh, of death. I didn't even think it was of that. It, yeah, I didn't queen... think of that. I thought I thought that was like in the, the like just a nice way of putting like it. A place, yeah, like a we state. don't say the Queen's yeah. the dead Queen. Like... Um, so he he filed past because that's sorry he joined the queue because and he it was still the right thing to do and good on him for for queuing for twelve hours or whatever. But uh, but it, he didn't have any choices. I mean, you might say, I'm sure someone in his position could have got a pass. Yeah, get a pass. It, but Give a he, pass to David Beckham. He's, be- he's better than them. They've decided that you have levels on wor- of worth. Like, I personally don't think we should have had a bank holder day off, right? And right. Had shit cancelled. Because I didn't get a day off when my grand died. 
Yeah. So why would I have a day off when someone else's grand died? See, I died? feel the other way. I like, feel like we all should have had a day off when your grand died. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I found it annoying with gigs being cancelled. It's like, what, what the yeah. fuck are you cancelling? Fo- football football who, being off? What is this thing that whenever something goes wrong now, it's punched the, the, the jester? Uh-huh. You know, knock the jester out of the way. It's like, no, we're, we're, we're the, supposed to make things fun and help people. And also, sadness and humour go so well together. And what they're afraid of is that comics will make jokes about the Queen's death, which, of course, we did. <laughs> 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 because we're comics. Uh, the, the, That's going to happen. All they did was delay the inevitable. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. We'll come on hard now. Uh, anyway, so um, you your point is that Philip Schofield, you don't care about the queue. He might have had a good reason, uh, or it might be legitimate. It's fucking get, they get to the front of the queue. The fact yeah, that he's definitely uh, had sexual goings on with a youngster, right? Well, I, I just, definitely. I just think the queue thing's the wrong bit. Like I said, like I said, it's like doing Pablo Escobar for a late library book. Yeah, yeah I'm like, that's yeah. not the thing. Fuck the queue. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Who gives a fuck about the queue? Let's get to the fucking <laughs> real, uh, <laughs> the real fucking meat and potatoes of it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I don't, I don't really know. I, I don't watch morning TV, and I don't know Philip Schofield particularly, other than um, no, sounds like a right arsehole to me, though. From everything you said. <laughs> <laughs> fucking up against him. Imagine I got assassinated. Yeah. <laughs> Is he big enough for that? <laughs> I don't know. What a shit thing to get assassinated for. It's because of what he said about <laughs> Philip Schofield. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I'm not sure it's assassinated, is it, if you get killed? Mm, if That's I get murder. It's just murder. You're not big enough name. I mean oh, I don't want to bring yeah, you down, but yeah. You kind Wait, of got when, to be bit, got to be up there when, as a when is it, or a leader. When is it? When is it murder and when's it assassinated? I don't know. When's, where's the thin line? Could like you, if you're, if you're, um, could you assassinate Daniel but murder me? No, no, no. Daniel's still a murder. Still a murder. Yeah. No, I think is it? Is it not? Is it not um, a world leader or a, a royal or something? I don't, can it? Even then, where does it go down from world leader? I mean, like if it's the president, then that's definitely an assassination, right? If it's the first lady. Is that still an assassination? I think, oh, I think that is. I'd, it is. Yes, I'd, I'd, I'd think so, yeah. Or is it just an assassination where it's a planned political murder, perhaps? Did you hear about the um, IRA blowing up the boat? In the, it was in the 50s or the 60s with yeah. Mount, Mount Batten on. Yeah, I remember that happening. And he, he was uh, known I, paedoph- I wasn't there. Known paedophile, but it, 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 by, like... I, was he a known? I think. I, I, was he a known Peter? Yeah. Paul? Or is it just the same or speculation as Philip Schofield? Yeah, everyone has. Uh, but the IRA blew up his boat. Even right? worse, he jumped a queue once. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> um, there was kids on the boat, so the yeah. IRA blew up this paedophile. Go, that saved us children. Yeah, <laughs> could have backfired more than that, could it? Nah, yeah. you're like, uh, you're like, oh, I stopped them kids getting raped by by, them, by blowing them into bins. <laughs> Oops! It's really unfortunate. Uh, there, was, there was no gu- there was no good guy in that whole exchange. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be the hero and became the villain. I don't think that's the reason they were going after them because the IRA never sort of like oh we're now about killing pedophiles. That's our new thing. I, I, <laughs> the old stuff was all politics and everything, but now uh, we're just a child protection service. Just so happened to be a monarch. Yeah. <laughs> so do you think they they assassinated the man? Or do you think they assassinated the man and the kids? Or do you think they murdered the kids and assassinated the man? Or were they all just murdered? What do you mean? They went yeah. after the kids? No, I'm saying like the IRA. What was the assassination and what was the murder? Oh, I this see. Is, we've got a running theme for this the, podcast the kids, now. The kids were murdered. It's like Endeavour and Persevere. Should we actually look it up? What, between murder and assassination? No, assassination. Well, normally we've got a producer in. Who, by the way, everyone at home, um, we're going to make up. up. We're going to make up Matthew and Jack from every podcast after this, um, because enough of you have said just fucking make up Matthew because he's there. He's there. If someone just I saw a thing today where someone was like, "Yes, we've got producers in to kill the dead air and then leave him talking with no make and there's more dead air." We we will endeavour to be better or persevere to be better. One of the two, and while um, well, while well, I'm awkwardly pardon. Carrie is finding out the dictionary definition. The um, assassination is the act of murdering a usually important person by a surprise or secret attack. So it doesn't say how important. Yeah, where's the lane? Where, where, where the, what, you know, I don't know whether Sloss would be an assassination. I don't think it would be. He's not. I mean, I'm sorry, respect, Daniel, but you're not uh, a world leader kind of level of, of uh, fame that 
it, it wouldn't affect much. Yeah. I mean, it, I, I mean, it, your death wouldn't affect anything. I mean, you wouldn't change the country's politics. The course or, of or the or course of history. Or change the course of history. But, but, but might do. You never know. Well, hold on, hold on. Who? Um, has there has it's there been an act of surprise? Has there has there been any? Um... I like the fact it can be an act of surprise. It's either uh, killing a person by a, a, oh, it's got to be a surprise or a secret attack. Oh, so you can't you can't tell them you're going to kill them. Oh, so is that the, is that then no longer an assassination? You can't you can't even do like a cool lane or anything. No, I don't think so. Not, apparently not. You you can't give them like a quip before you hit them. You can't like. You know the word comes from hashish, right? What or does? does hashish come from assassin? Hashish. No, hashish. assassin comes from hashish. Go on. That's no, just a fact. And what, like, so you're not going to tell us the the, the dots in between? Um, it was... Um, hashish means weed. Yeah. And the assassins would take hash. They'd do it high? Yeah. Yeah, that's why when people say hash makes makes you uh, um, useless, pathetic, you can't, you can't uh, uh, do any work and so on. It's like, no, people used to assassinate on it. It was Arabic. God, imagine how fucking I'm paranoid. Trying, I'm trying to think where it would have been. Imagine how but... fucking paranoid you'd be just fucking creeping around a palace or whatever, looking for the sheik that you're gonna. Where did you say it was? And then the, Arabic. So the, you're looking for the sheik that you're gonna assassinate, and you're just fucking high as just, shit. You yeah, just yeah. like start like going, "Oh, what am I doing with my life, where's, man? Where's the kitchen? <laughs> I, must find, I want some chocolate first, then I'll stop. then I'll get on with this." Uh, yeah, I just want to watch YouTube videos, man. <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> Whose idea was this? Am I even getting paid for this? <laughs> what if I die? How am I getting nude? <laughs> I bet there was loads of stand up at the time that was really hackered just about how, ah, oh, you know, when you're taking cash and you just want to murder someone. <laughs> 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 you just want to carry out a killing. What the, and we're like, oh, yeah, we always get that when we take the, cash. Is that it changed. The, now, nowadays it's all the, yeah, you get the munchies. Is that That's the, the, hack the, thing, 80, the, the 1800s Arabic open mic? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hack. <laughs> 1800s uh, Arabic open mic. There's another fucking comic going on about murdering people on hash. Uh, I, we were talking last night about some some just like phrases are really hack like getting fingered behind the bins. Yeah, it's just it's one of those ones. Someone has said it, and it's just it's got so much imagery to it. Mm-hmm. it says everything it needs to say, and then uh, it went, oh, I'm going to say that. But I think imagine you, going. I think I, you excuse me, mate. Uh, I just seen you on there. I've got a finger in behind the bins. Yeah, bit. yeah, I think it's all. Yeah, so uh, I, I, I really I'm just let you know. The bins. Just Mine like, was real. Uh, yeah, I'm, like, I just, I'm just drawn off life experience. So it's just crossover. Yeah. <laughs> well, every single comic's been fingering behind the bins at some point. <laughs> you can talk to the woman who I finger behind the bins. She'll tell you. Have you ever fingered behind a bin? I've never fingered anyone behind a bin. No. Nah. I'm far. I'm. I'm just a little bit more classy than that. Aye. A skip, maybe. You know what? I would say like. My finger and outside numbers are like probably, probably in single figures. What I, I'm not in double figures of fingering people outdoors. Right. Okay. Right. And of I've their fingered a bin. Of of them of them short numbers. Yeah. I avoided bins on all of them. Yeah, I don't really. <laughs> I I found normally there's always another choice. Okay. Do you want to go somewhere else yeah. instead of the bins? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you give them op- do you give them options? There's either uh, the park just, um, or the uh, down by the, the yeah, pond. I've done uh, or the bins. What do you want? I've done a uh, Joe Percy's cut. Yeah, this is just like a just a, a walkway, not a road, but like a kind of walkway, like a, a grass. Uh, I've done the cemetery. Yeah, I've done the cr- coop and creme. Been fingering there. Uh, <laughs> you just go out for a bit of fingering. Um, you don't want to live with my parents. You just have to go out on the boat, dude. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I don't know. Can, the we, bit. can we have sex? No, no, no. I'm just here for the right. fingering. But behind the behind the kitchen bin, <laughs> not even an outdoor bin. <laughs> <laughs> so it feels, oh, wait, it, indoor, feel, indoor, it feels like you're doing it out in, by the bin. Indoor fingering, I. <laughs> There's loads of indoor fingering. Sometimes there's bins in the room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. I got one. You're gonna go first. Hi right, then. Um. Your dad has a basket on his peloton and he sits in it with a towel over his head like E.T. while your man pedals. Hold on. He has a towel on his what? Over his head. Read the whole thing again. Your dad yeah. has a basket on his, bus- on his peloton. What's a peloton? It's an exercise bike. Oh, why was I meant to know that? That's what threw me. Do you not know what a peloton is? No. They're just a, like a really like 
trendy brand of expensive exercise bike okay. with like an iPad kind of screen built into it. And um, it connects to like fitness instructors around the world who are doing like live classes. So, okay, let's break this down. My dad has a Peloton. Yeah, I mean, your mum's the one that uses it, so it might be joint. It might be a joint peloton. <laughs> okay. Right. So, on, so tell me again. So yeah, your dad's got a basket on it. He's got a basket on his peloton, which is his, his, his exercise machine. And he sits inside of that basket. Right. With a towel over his head. Yeah. Like ET. Yeah. From the film ET. Pretending he's an ET. Uh huh. Right. Well, your mum pretending to be Elliot pedals. Yeah. And you don't think that's romantic and sweet. You don't think that's really lovely? I mean, I wouldn't have said romantic. Found of, they like, found a way of exercising you're, together. You're suggesting that they're doing a bit of cosplay? Yeah, well, totally. Why not? Because they're like, I don't think that's even an insult. I think you're just saying they that they have a really happy, inventive relationship <laughs> where they, they're willing to try things. Because they're romantically engaged in the, they're dressing up as a child and as pet alien. That's their thing. <laughs> oh, my God. You're trying to Schofield everything now. <laughs> Everything's got to have a negative side. All right, well, your dad... Uh, who, by the way, thinks Freddie Mercury has just died. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad, he thinks the purpose of the bath mat is to wipe his boots before he gets into the bath. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, he's very clean. Your dad couldn't afford bread, so he dressed like a duck. <laughs> That's just the kind of thing he would do, though. Um, your dad, who still writes his name and age on pictures that he draws, <laughs> <laughs> he tells people that if you get your toe stuck in the bath's plug hole in Australia, you spin round anti-clockwise. <laughs> and the reason he believes that is because that's what happened to him. But it was actually psychosomatic. He just walked around anti-clockwise thinking that's what was supposed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> He's still doing it. <laughs> Even though the water's all gone. It's long gone. The water's long gone. He doesn't know where it stops. And he's just there in his boots. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad takes all of his clothes off to take a piss at the public urinal. <laughs> He does, and he leans on the wall as well, uh, both hands. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad thinks the moon in the sky is a reflection of the real one in the puddle. <laughs> <laughs> They're sending people to the moon again. We talked about this, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, and then you said it got postponed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was something wrong with the rocket, which uh, I don't know what it was, though. Yeah, Queen died. Queen died. Queen died. They're like, going to have to put that off. Yeah. It's disrespectful. They're going to put a woman on the moon and they're going to put the first person of colour on the moon. What are they going to get up to? <laughs> I was thinking it would be good if they put the president's wife on the moon because then they'll have the first lady on the moon who is the first lady on the moon. Right? First, That's a double yeah, uh -huh. double win. Right? The first first lady on the moon. The first, the they'll lady. have the first first lady on the moon. First lady. Yes, also, the, pe the person of colour thing, which I think is a nice thing to do. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like, you know, there's only been white men on the moon, so there'll be, there'll be a woman on the moon. And it, but it's not a scientific it, achievement. No one has said yeah. at any point, I wonder if it's possible to put a person of colour on the moon. They could <laughs> like, sit, No way. They could put a woman of colour on the moon. They could do, well, then, do it all in one go. Yeah. 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 Aye, gear and, then, gear last. and then there'd be room to send another white man as well. <laughs> so let's get that. <laughs> we got there. We got there, Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, your, your dad isn't big enough to get on any of the raids at Alton Towers. <laughs> I'm not sure what that says about him. He just says he's very short, <laughs> which is okay. It's okay to be short. Uh, these are just facts, okay, not, um, not opinions. Your dad understands. He understands that when you look up at the stars, you're really only seeing their light that has travelled towards us, and really the stars are much further away mm -hmm. than they appear. Yeah. And that's why... When he looks at the stars, he looks through a telescope the wrong way around to try and make it look more realistic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, your dad projected a nude photo of himself onto Westminster like Gil Porter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your dad, who excuses his behaviour, by the way, by telling people that he's stupid man gender. <laughs> 
He, so, your dad. No, that was it. That was it. This is, that was a by the way. <laughs> your dad bought a trophy cabinet to display his world's greatest dad mug. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad can't swim, uh, but he died doing what he loved, eating bread. <laughs> <laughs> when he was being a duck. Uh, I'm with you. <laughs> Your dad saves on sunglasses by carrying a tree with him everywhere. <laughs> Even indoors, because he thinks it looks cool. <laughs> i got one more. Go on. I'm doing it anyway. No, I said go on. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to. If you want to be contradictory, you could not do it. You might notice I've spent most of this podcast being contradictory. <laughs> I don't even believe any, anything I've said today. I don't believe any of it. I don't feel anything I've claimed to feel. I was just being argumentative because it's who I am. You are. It's not who I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Um, your dad thinks it's wrong to use a fire exit, even in emergency conditions, for the same reason it's wrong to use a disabled toilet. You know, that, that exit is for the fire. <laughs> 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 you might be blocking the fire trying to get out. Uh, thanks for coming on the podcast, Kerry. I'm, uh, I'm sorry I've got nothing to plug. I'm sorry I've got nothing. There's nothing going on. Um, check out my OnlyFans. Um, special offers. Mm -hmm. Just turn the volume down once. <laughs> turn the volume down. And um, no, I have nothing. I, I really came on with nothing to say. I, I think I've said it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I just really, my point is I just disagree with everything that Kai has said and things. <laughs> it's so funny. The, the bit back there, I was getting frustrated when you were arguing my point just louder. <laughs> <laughs> hey, th <laughs> thanks for being on the no podcast. There's no such thing Kerry. as devil's advocate. No. Thank you. That's what the Nazis dress up as. Devil's advocate. Devil's advocates, yeah. 